Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Ape Pancho back at you again with another video. And so I've been away for a few days working on other videos, but we've got some news to catch up on and these two stories we're going over today, coming out of the capital over these past couple of days. Just to let you guys know, if you do have any stories that you want me to cover or anything like that, then feel free to hit me up over on my Instagram. It will be linked down in the description below. I know a lot of the time I do cover big cities, but I am open to covering pretty much everywhere in the UK. So if you do have a story you want me to look into, just drop me a message and I'll try to get back to as many of you as I can. But with that being said, these two stories are just the latest in teenagers who have sadly gone on to lose their lives to stabbings this year. And believe it or not, the two separate incidents happened just hours apart. The first incident coming out of Woolwich where reports are coming out that a 15-year-old schoolboy by the name of Tamim Ian was attacked on Woolwich New Road. At around 5.25pm on the 5th of July 2021, officers were called to the area to reports of a stabbing. When they arrived, they found the young teenager suffering from stab injuries, but despite the best efforts of paramedics, he would sadly go on to be pronounced dead a short while later. Witnesses were said to have stepped in to try and help him before paramedics arrived, but I think what's quite sickening, to be honest, is that reports are saying that some members of the public had taken their phones out to start recording as this young boy was dying on the streets. I don't understand how that's going to help this situation out at all by recording a small child dying on the streets. I know some people have came out to say, from what I've seen on social media, that the police will need it for evidence, but honestly, recording someone in their final moments, again, especially a child, is not needed at all. It was then other members of the public had to step in to hold sheets up to give him privacy. In regards to arrests, a 15-year-old boy who was treated at hospital for a stab injury was later arrested on suspicion of murder, but as it stands right now, I'm unsure if he's been released or not. According to some reports, they're claiming that Tamim was killed following an argument over Snapchat, and it's believed he was caught up in a fight amongst a group of people, according to one witness. But moving on to our next story, and for this one, we've got to head over to Oval Place in South London. At around 11.45pm, so quite literally six hours or so after the Woolwich stabbing, police were called to the area to reports of a stabbing. When they arrived, they found a 16-year-old boy who's been named as Keen Harling suffering from stab injuries, and he would sadly go on to be pronounced dead at the scene once emergency services arrived. As it stands right now, no arrests have been made and inquiries ongoing. According to locals, this incident went down outside of Keen's mother's home, so you can only imagine how she's feeling right now to have your son's life taken away right outside of your front doorstep. In both of these situations, friends have came out to say that both boys weren't troublemakers. Tamim wanted to actually go on to be a future solicitor, whilst Keen was described as a bubbly young boy who was doing well for himself. In the first six months of 2021, we've now seen more teenagers killed on the streets of the capital than the whole of 2020. Mayor of London Sadiq Khan has recently came out to explain that as lockdown restrictions are easing up, violent crime is on the rise, which was projected last year by police higher-ups, which we've already been over in a previous video. A lot of you might be asking yourself what the government is doing to combat knife crime, seeing as again this year we've had more teenagers dying on the streets than the whole of last year, and only today Pretty Patel has came out to say that new knife crime prevention orders will be rolling out over this week in London, with it expanding over the whole of England and Wales over the next year or so. Reading from the official government website, it reads, court orders preventing young people from carrying knives and becoming embroiled in serious violence violence are now being piloted in London, Home Secretary Priti Patel has announced. The new knife crime prevention orders are being trialled by the Metropolitan Police Service for 14 months before plans to roll them out across forces in England and Wales. They can be imposed on individuals as young as 12 whom police have reason to believe are carrying knives or are habitual knife carriers or those who have been previously convicted of knife-related offences. Police can apply to the courts for the orders. The conditions attached can include curfews and restrictions on an individual's use of social media, travel outside geographical boundaries, as well as banning them from carrying a knife. 
Courts can also prescribe positive intervention such as educational courses, sports club referrals, relationship counselling, anger management, mentoring and drug rehabilitation. The order aims to stop a small but high-risk cohort of individuals from causing immediate harm to others and support earlier interventions to turn young people away from a life of crime and protect them from potential exploitation from criminal gangs. So that is some news that has came out today on what the government is attempting to do to prevent knife crime in the UK. I want to know your guys' thoughts on these new court orders. Do you think this is a step in the right direction for the government and the police? forces across the UK to combat knife crime is this the right way forward but two young teenagers have sadly gone on to lose their lives over these past couple of days and I do want to take this time out just to say rest in peace to both Tamin and Keen and I do want to send my condolences over to both of their families at this current time but let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. Give the video a little like. And if you want the latest drill, street and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your boy Ape Pancho, and I'm out.